Single Channel Real-Time Imaging Water Finder Operation Video The standard configuration of Single Channel Real-Time Imaging Water Finder includes Host Measuring Line Electrode Rod Instrument Packaging Box Hammer Operation Manual Charger and Accessories The measuring line is connected with the host and the electrode rod and the electrode rod is inserted into the ground to measure. Now we turn to the login interface. Choose a mobile phone number type. Then input your number to get a verification code. It shows that the code has been sent. Input the code to log in. Next step is to set a new measurement. Input a number you like to name the measurement file, like 112. Then turn back and confirm the information. Now we add the measurement setting interface. You can choose the measure depth you need, from maximum 100 meter to 300 meter or 600 meter. Then choose the measurement method. Choosing electrode probe if you use the electrode type. Choose a proxenum prop if you use the wireless sensor. This time we use wireless sensor, so choose the first one. For a single channel device, the number of measurement channel is 1. Then confirm the setting. Then we go to measurement interface. We could see that the measure button turned to green. Click it to start measure and wait until it completes the zamping work. Confirm the data, then move to the next point, and click Measure again. Repeat the operation until it could draw the graph. At least 6 points, we suggest 10 points. Now draw the map. Click Draw and choose Isoline Graph. Choose 2D then back to the main interface. Matters needing attention. 1. The distance between the electrode rods shall be at least 2m, and a measuring line shall be measured at least 6 points before drawing. It is recommended to measure more than 10 points. 2. Avoid high voltage lines, rainy days and other interference with the environment. 